Hi everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of the Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, the Pythagorean Theorem is this equation right here, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, this is a very useful and powerful uh, equation to understand and use in geometry. Uh, we use it all year long. In fact, I used it when I was a carpenter, when I was building things. Uh, I remember especially when I was uh, helping build a roof. Uh, but anyways, the Pythagorean Theorem uh, is used only for right triangles. Uh, you might use it for other variations of uh, problems that deal with right triangles, uh, but you use it primarily if you're missing one of the three sides. Uh, for example, what if we knew what the hypotenuse was? We knew the length here. What if we knew what this leg was here, but we did not know what the measure was of this side here? Well, that's where you use the Pythagorean Theorem. You use it when you don't know one of the three sides of a right triangle. Uh, but you do need to know two of the three sides. So if, again, we know this side here, we know this side here, we don't know this side here, you can't use it if you don't know uh, two of the sides. Uh, you have to use it if you know two of the three sides. Uh, now, this equation, the A's, the B's, and the C's, it's a really important to understand which side of the right triangle would go in for the A, the B, and the C. Uh, most importantly, uh, the side that's labeled C is the hypotenuse. Uh, that's a funny name, uh, but it's the name of the longest side of a right triangle. And so you always gonna, are going to label C uh, as the hypotenuse. Uh, and so and it's always uh, opposite the 90 degree angle. And so if I look at the 90 degree angle here, opposite the 90 degree angle is always going to be the hypotenuse, 100% of the time. And so whenever you're trying to label uh, the sides A, B, and C on the right triangle, I generally start with looking at the right, uh, the right angle, and then I look across from the right angle, and I'll label this side here C. And if you want to see other videos where I do this, you can go to my website, and you can check it out, the part two, part three videos, and stuff like that. Uh, but again, but the hypotenuse is always uh, opposite uh, the 90 degree angle, and it's always the longest side. And it has a special name, which is uh, the hypotenuse. Now, the other sides, which we're labeling A and B here, are the shortest two sides of the right triangle. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you call one of these A and B. I could have called this guy A and this guy B, uh, B here if I wanted to. Uh, but generally, sometimes teachers will tell their students to label the shortest side A and the, uh, the middle side here B, and then the longest side here they're going to call the, the hypotenuse. Uh, but again, it doesn't really matter if you call the two shorter sides A or B. You can flip them around, it doesn't matter. It absolutely uh, is essential that you label the longest side here C. Uh, and so uh, we've got this side here is called the hypotenuse. On a right triangle, the sides that are not the hypotenuse are called legs. And the way I tell my students to remember this is basically most people have two legs. I've got two legs, hopefully you have two legs. Uh, so people generally have two legs right triangles have two legs. They just happen to be the shorter two sides on the right triangle. Anyways, hopefully this helps you understand uh, what these letters mean in here. Again, if you want to go to my other videos, I actually plug numbers into there so we can find the missing sides. But I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.